What's up guys, it's Kelly of 3 Print and Technology. In this video we're going to be going over some of the 3 print tours and 3 printing being used in movies like box office movies or big name TV shows type stuff. So to start off the first half of this video, I want to go through and just pick out some 3 prints appearing in movies. Probably the most notable one is a 3 print tour appearing in one of the Marvel Avenger movies. It's just sitting on a shelf in I believe Tony Stark's workspace. So there's about a handful of those type of examples. Clearly not enough to do a 10 minute video on just spotting printers and movies. One that's kind of a niche and two there's not very many of those out there. So for the second half of this video, we're just going to be going over how 3 print has affected, impacted movie making, television making in general. One example is the well-known TV host of Mythbusters and his YouTube channel tested Adam Savage. If you go through his YouTube channel videos, you can see quite a few are related to 3 printing now like reviewing a printer or 3 printing desktop figurine prop type stuff and since he's been in television for a while and he's a known prop special effects special effects maker type stuff you can see that 3 printing has clearly affected Hollywood if you will but anyways, that's the idea for this video. This is the first video in this series that we've done. We may, we may try to do a second video. But anyways, let's get started spotting printers and movies. Okay, so doing a Google search for three printers and movies. This is the top part where it's Anwa. I think it's how I pronounce it, but the most popular 3 printer in a movie making an appearance is the Star Trek 1987 one. It's not necessarily a fictional printer, it's more of sci-fi, but it is a 3 print concept where it makes what you ask of the machine like a 3 printer would. It's more fictional, fictional ones would be Small Soldiers, Jurassic Park, then some of the ones you can actually see in the movie is Iron Man 2. You can see a print in the background. Uh, some lesser known movies, you know, the Marvel movie Ant Man, The Fate of the Furious, Terminator 2. That's really it for the Spotting the three printers. Like I said, this is a simple Google search. If you want to look at it closer, you can. Now, moving on to some of the image searches. Googling three printers and Avengers, you can see some props and replicas and different stuff that could possibly be used in the movie. And most of these are fan made stuff. But it shows you how far 3 print has come where you can make Hollywood quality props at your home. Now going back to regular web search doing 3 print in the movies just to see what else, just to see what else we can find. Going to the news articles, there's not a lot on here. Still more face shields being made. It's 
So, going to another article about 3 printing in movies. We can see some props being made. I believe this is a headpiece for the new Black Panther movie, or the one that just came out. Here's a Robocop part. Some of the Airmen costume pieces were 3 printed. That's sort of prototype work. Muppets, Zero Dark Thirty, Caron, so again there's more of the same, so this is a very new field if you will, so there's not a lot of articles out about this yet. I'm sure as time progresses there will be more to come. Okay, so in conclusion, to wrap this video up, this is an intro primer sort of video to be able to use as a stepping stone into other Hollywood acting filmography type topics for 3D printing. So we can see some of the recent news articles that involve 3D printing, some Google research items, some of the movies. You can actually see a 3 printer in, 3 printer in, like in the Avengers. And we can start to see how Hollywood movie industry has adapted to 3 printing technology with some of Adam Savage's videos or some of the news articles that we showed you. But if we look 10 years ago, there was very few, if any, movies involving 3D printing stuff. 10 years ago would be 2010, about the time the major patents were earning out and we're starting to see some more of the home hobbyist 3D printers come on the market like Princess MK2 or any keyboard or ANET, those type of printers. And within these last 10 years we've starting to see more fashion pieces made of 3D printing a lot more prototyping type parts, prosthetics, prop replicas, props, movie set pieces, different stuff like that. Anyway, if you want to get this video out as an intro type video, like we did the three print fashion or the three print houses type videos, to be able to use this as sort of a stepping stone into other topics related to 3 print and Hollywood movies, props, etc. So depending on the feedback and views and stuff like that, there may be more there may be more videos coming soon. Uh we're gonna be trying to find more three printers in television and movies, spotting them. Or maybe trying to do a behind the scenes interview type stuff with prop designers. Or just talking about the movie industry in a whole and how 3 printing has affected it. But anyways, that's going to wrap up the video. For experience, today's video is first. Make sure to click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.